no, no. no chance. <laughs> okay, Thanks. so it started. <laughs> now, I'm, ooh, yes. Okay, I have pulled it up. I see us. You have? You what? You do? Are you serious? Yeah, I got it open right now. Dang, look at that. Hey, that's me! I'm wearing that shirt! Okay, so here was the thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to I, I share I this. Weird lighting. I wanted to share this in a tweet. Now, how do I do that? Share. Copy link. I've got it. Well, Alk is here. All right. Hi, Alk. Okay. Oh, wait, I was also adding names while we were waiting. And then I came up across one that had the tiny Ingma, and that's where I fall apart. Tiny Ingma, it's How do you a do the shift uh, hashtag, shift number sign. Okay, say that again. Shift number sign. Hashtag. Oh. Interesting. Does that do that for all of them? Uh, not for all of them, no. just for some of them. It's like the first thing that you try to do is the up carrot, and if that doesn't work, right. then you go to the hashtag carrot. Okay. Wow. Now I am retweeting that tweet as soon as I can find it. I follow oh, too many people. You follow too many people? Yes, I do. Is that possible? Absolutely. Look at this. I follow 1,567 people. That's absurd. Oh, right. But now I have to open the live stream again. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, we were, we were supposed to start early and then we didn't. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think my IPA keyboard, my keyboard is going crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Luckily, you weren't on the page. Yes, I am back. Hi, I'm doing. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. And I missed you all. And two weeks is far too long to go without one of these. <laughs> We're uh, moving things up to uh, five times a week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be intense at all. In order to accommodate my schedule, it'll be at 10 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> I, uh, I would hate to know what I would be like if we started a live stream at midnight my time. <laughs> like, I feel like Ooh. that would be awful. Megan! Oh. Shiva Paiva! Hope I got that right. I'm sorry. Sorry you had a scare last week. <laughs> Yay, and Jasmine is back too! Yay! Nice. Okay. So, hooray! That's good news, but Megan. But sorry you had a scare, Megan. Even a scare is just, ugh. That's unfortunate, but glad you didn't have it. Turning you up a little bit, Jesse, so that we can hear you drinking. That's wonderful. <laughs> Did you get that big gulp? Oh, yeah. Hey, remember big gulps? 7-Eleven? Yes. Ha! Yes. Do they still have those? Or is that just done? I feel like that's just the medium now. Yeah. By the way, a little FYI <laughs> for... Thank you. I love it. A little FYI for Japan. 7-Eleven is the only place where you can use an American ATM card. So I can get money really? out. Yeah. Oh. And let me tell you, they got some high-quality little um, items in there. Like the, the, the fresh-to-eat items. Nice. It's good stuff. But anyway, that is good to know. But yeah, that's why 7-Eleven is like flourishing in Japan. Um, and it's mainly there for foreigners, I guess. Um, anyway, oh, it's it's midnight in Finland. Now, how is that not a metal song? Midnight in Finland. <laughs> it just makes sense. Mm. <laughs> that would be a great song. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about nothing but right now. I'm just composing Midnight in Finland in my head right now. Um, but let's go ahead and jump to the... Um, um, what do you do with one of those where it's... Tss, 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 bup, 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 you know? It's a voting. What do you call it? For our thing. 
You know where you vote. The poll. The poll. Let's do the poll. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a video game, an arcade. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna name them what they were named in the poll itself on Patreon, okay. um, or on Patreon, I should say. So, like, if you're a patron, you you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, otherwise, I leave it to David to figure out if he can show you or pull it up on the font side. Option C received no love. That was straight and steady. Okay, we were not. We were not about straight and steady. So let me let me talk a all. little bit about this one. Um, the reason I kind of liked this one is because it was somewhat even on the bottom, which of course it's grass, so it kind of should be. Um, and the top wasn't terrible. The thing was, yeah, it was a little straight on this end. So that was, okay, so that one is out. That, yeah. I mean, like, so close far and, out that seriously, zero votes. Zero votes, man. Zero I, I didn't think that one what? should have been last. I'm just going to say that. When I say no love, I mean no love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming in fourth place is option yes. A, which is low right, straight pull off. This one, oh, what did I do? What did I do? No, no, that was it. Um, this one was the first one I did, and the thing is, yeah, it's it's too straight. It's too straight. I didn't like it either even though it has the best top, which I don't think enough people focused on, and it's relatively straight on the bottom. Uh, it just had too straight a pull-off. Okay, next. Okay, next. So third place was option D, the deep plunge. Yeah. I just went for it. I mean, I don't think it's too terrible. I kind of don't like this top. Um, I like it when they're more even. Um, it makes it look like it's one stroke. Uh, it, it makes it better look like it's one stroke. I don't know. Anyway, um, or maybe not. Maybe it's the opposite of that. Well, whatever. I'm surprised that one got a lot of votes. Next. Okay, so here's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, as I'm looking at it, seeing, did I do my math right? Um, option B was Fancy Boy. Yeah. And option E was Deep and Curvy. Yes. They're tied. Are you serious? Like For the winner exactly tied yeah wow i mean i guess that's our choice between the two we could also look at what our top level patrons wanted and do that one what do they have <laughs> you're really not gonna like this yeah. it's tied when you consider those two. <laughs> oh my gosh Seriously? It was tied for the conspirators? Let me look again. I think I'm looking at the right place because I pulled them all into one spreadsheet. But it was kind of spread out. Oh, no, no, no. I cut it off in the wrong place. And okay. E has one more vote at the top level. Okay, so E is, is winning over Fancy Boy. So this is Fancy Boy. I mean, you can see it goes down low and it has kind of like a... <laughs> thingy, so that's why I called it Fancy Boy. Um... I'm sorry, I need you to repeat that noise. Ooh. Makes sense. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and then this one is the winner. And honestly, that's Deep not too bad. It's curvy. not too bad. Um, I don't like the top. I actually think that was my favorite when I looked at them. So I love it when I pull it up close. I think it looks great. I don't like it when it's this mm -hmm. size when it's small just i don't know why i just don't like it okay the fancy boy would have been are they still the five in the same order because i was trying yes. to look at them small to see the difference yeah fancy boy is just know. ridiculous I, think I, like... really? okay. I mean i just think it's ridiculous that's why i kept it um ah. i wanted to see if there was an option okay oh and thank you evan Yes, and you, you totally missed me singing a song. That's the first thing I did. <laughs> okay. And then I think that that's the one that's actually in there right now. Uh, if we um, uh, set side bearings to zero. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, that's the one that's in there. Because, of course, it was the one I did last. So that was the one that's, right. uh, that's left there. 
Um, okay, so one thing I did want to do, this wasn't a part of the poll, but um, I'm kind of uncomfortable with this right here, so I did want to try to fix that. It was the same on all of them. Um, but I'm uncomfortable with that little divot. Um, I appreciate what it's trying to do, but I just would like to, you know, discuss Can things. Can you be more specific? Because I see like four divots here. Which uh, divot? Yeah, you know, on the very left pull off. Um, okay. So this point right there. I don't like you it. You know, in high school, I had a friend who was nicknamed Divot because he had a hole in his chest bone oh and it created a God. divot. That is not right. Dang. Is he okay? But was he all state? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, I'm gonna try to... Okay, so while David is playing with that playing... Yikes. But okay, it's working. <laughs> Yikes, a doodle do. <laughs> okay, it has to be called playing if you respond with Yikes, a doodle do. That's, that's just playing around. Um, before we actually started the stream, I was telling David that <clears throat> I went through all of our comment threads on Patreon and um, Reddit, which was a prolific undertaking. <laughs> and I ended up with, um, you know, hold it up. I have seven pages of notes, single spaced, um, that I have categorized into groups and topics and things like that. And so um, I think, it, and rightly so, a lot of people were really interested in thinking about like eating and foods and different words that they would have, including what would be a staple for rabbits, um, because they would end up getting words that could also be used, you know, in polysemous kind of ways. Um, and so, like, so many ideas there. I feel like that may take a while to unpack and digest. You get digest. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I See, I do this in class too. I stop and make sure my students have time for my really bad puns to sit in, and then I snicker for myself just in case they don't snicker on my behalf. Um, <laughs> I hear my family snickering in the background. Hmm. They know my snicker. Um, but there is also uh, a portion on family terms, and I, I thought that would be an interesting thing to go into because there's also um, a lot of good questions about oh just boy. like some basic daily life. And so my at some boy. point, while David is hard at work on glyphs, I'm also going to be peppering him with questions about their life cool. and like what they do on a daily basis. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. Delicious peaches, Megan. Apparently, rabbits love some delicious fallen peaches. Oh, did you see it? Yes. Wasn't that delightful? Such a cutie. I think I did what you're supposed to do on Reddit. I think I... It's upvoted? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Liked it? The you, arrow? You registered your pleasure with it. <laughs> this is... And so for the rest of you who don't know, I'm not super familiar with Reddit. Um, the only reason I joined was because my son told me I should. And so I did. And then I had an account and did nothing with it forever. And now I'm trying to figure out how to use it. And so it took me, I counted 13 days to realize I had a message waiting for me. <laughs> nice. I, I suppose I should have texted you. Um, and told me that that little orange thing means you should open another window to and, see what you're missing. And then I should have called you on the telephone to let you know you have a text from me. Yes, and on my landline, <laughs> no doubt. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> Ooh, oh boy, hold on, hold on, sorry. I, I, I got carried away, forget it, no. That need to honor the poll, I'm going to leave that there. Um, left side is fine now, left side is fine now. Yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to mess with that anymore. Did you I don't know why it has did errors. Did you fix the divot? I, I did fix the divot. I don't know why it has errors. But um, where does it say errors? Uh, that remember that little red triangle at the top lets us know that it has oh. errors. Um, let's see what that is. 
That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Evan, I got to be honest. I didn't really sing a song. I just figured if I told you I sang one, then maybe people would say that I did, and it could be a fun thing, you know. Like, tell everybody they missed that one time that I sang a song, and... No. David's the singer of this group. Hiding in the stream. That is what I'm we so are. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I put that on a playlist. <laughs> 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 Even though I don't think you were truly necessarily introduced to it at that point, I'm just glad now you know Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. No, I mean, that was simple, yeah. but they, like you know, took the chorus and reworked it for Ghetto Superstar. Indeed, they did. Um, so that was my only exposure to it, was Ghetto Superstar. Okay. You know, which was popular at the time. Um, yeah, now we got to deal okay. with how to make these. Head back While you're doing that, one question that keeps coming up, and we've had some great... Should we call it fanology? If it's like mythology written by some awesome fans? Hmm. Or is that just fanfic? Um, what? How should we refer to it? <laughs> Fan mythology for our world. Because yes. we have stories written by fans oh, cool. for the world. Um, but one question is about deities. And so David, out of... Mm -hmm. curiosity was there any sort of spiritual culture or deities that were meant to be a part of the world um no i left it kind of open for uh the rabbits um for for others i had ideas but for the rabbits i left it kind of open so um so yeah, I, I I like the idea of the the sun and moon playing some sort of important part since they're such an important part of the writing system. Um, okay. But as to you know their identities and specific roles, no, I hadn't I didn't have anything specific for them. Because okay. mm. there are some stories there, and some of them are based on existing mythology as well, and, and some oh. human mythology. And those gotta go. Um, out. We don't want that. Okay. Um, also, a lot of people suggested that they should have a matriarchal society. Um, oh, I had, I thought we had talked about that. Um, oh, now I'm kind of losing it, though. It was, shoot, I don't actually just want to go off the cuff because I had a really good idea. Um, but I'm forgetting it now because, of course, I didn't write it down. Mm -hmm. But it was something about um, mother rabbits and breeding and... Yeah, I don't remember. I'll have to rethink that. I don't know. But there's something okay. in there, absolutely. Okay, so... I'm going to put a pin in that for now because I do think that the type of society and the way they view with mother rabbits and things like that, um, I think that can also affect their deity figures. And some people had suggested perhaps having at least one deity that is more of a spiritual connection versus other deities that are actually more rabbit in their minds. Um, and so there were some suggestions on that. Um, and mm -hmm. so I feel like that's kind of important to know what your idea was there to potentially come up with other ideas. Okay. Then, basic questions. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was the perfect face to look up to. <laughs> I know, it's just, it's so hard to, <laughs> it's so hard to center things like this because, okay, so, you know, there's like, two types of writing systems, right? And there's one that's like, you know, very super schematic. And I think I'm very good at those. And I really enjoy doing those. Where it's like, oh, is this centered or not? Well, just add up the numbers and see if it's centered. That will tell you if it's centered. But for something like this, um, you really have to eyeball it. And it's a type of thing where it's like this thing, since it's so off balance, I mean, it's very difficult to get a sense of 
does it feel centered? Where mm -hmm. since you can't just crunch the numbers, which is what I enjoy doing. Right. Um, anyway, so, you know, just, uh, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best here. Anyway, okay, so general questions, general questions. Do they have eating utensils or do they eat with their hands? Um, I would think at this stage, they would have developed eating utensils is my thought um, because it, it makes sense for this reason if they have cooked food um, okay things that would be too hot for little paws oh okay are there utensils like what we think of like fork spoons or are they more like tongs or um, two-pronged forks made to look like rabbit ears, perhaps? I actually really liked the suggestion of two-pronged forks um, because it's, uh, you could almost think of it as about like the first innovation. Um, mm -hmm. First, you know, the first thing is right, just a pointy stick, but then a, a two-pronged fork has obvious utility over that. Um, and it's the type of thing where you can pick something up, air it around maybe for it to get cooler. Um, so I think that makes a and lot it's, of sense. It's like, I mean, I know you're not really one for camping, but like normally when you roast marshmallows, it's the two pronged. So like that That's makes true. me very happy thinking of campfires. Yeah. I showed you those pictures, right? We got a little fire thing. It's a, a little fire pit, a, a portable one. Mm -hmm. And we, um, nice. we have made s'mores several times. That is exciting. I imagine there will okay. be more s'mores to come as we go on to autumn. Yay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, do they have then, in terms of other utensils, would they, like us, have like bowl type things plus plate type things? Um, or would they just all be like dishes and they put things in it? It's honestly hard to imagine a society not inventing a bowl. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has such obvious utility because um, it's so useful to have something like a soup or a stew, you know. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, as you'll know from the Tawny Scrawny Lion, what do the rabbit brothers and sisters make? They make a stew for the lion. So, of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay. What do they do for art? I don't know. Um, Good question. I don't know. Certainly, certainly there's dramatic rabbit performance in singing. Um, oh, they have to have singing because we have a word for singing. And, and, and rabbit dance, of course. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to highlight that one. And for all line to singing and dancing. Yeah. But if they've gotten to the point where they have this script that is a uh, brush on canvas or some mm -hmm. type of paper, right? then obviously they have other type of representation. I mean, because these all derived from pictures, from pictographs. Um, oh, whittling okay. obviously makes sense too. Um, okay. Um, by right. the way, and, uh, uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, I was just going to say, Evan, I know a lot of people talked about the earth as being a large beast or monster with rabbits living in its womb. But there is the misconception that that was the reason we had a preposition that came from womb that was actually made with a lot of different decisions in mind. And so it has never been formalized that the earth is a deity. Mm. Also, uh, I did want to raise this, though, since Star Horse brought it up and it reminded me. So let's just take a little <laughs> moment. So this is what happened when we talked about um, thunder. So we, we were getting caught up trying to remember why thunder was animate and lightning was not. That was never a thing. That was never a thing. Okay. It wasn't like thunder was going to be animate and lightning was not. It was just the idea when we were originally coming up with the pronouns. It was episode 114, um, I think. It was either that or 111. I don't know why I'm mixing them up. Um, but uh, Dark Horse found it, the exact timestamp. Um, and when we were coming up with the distinction of animate rabbit versus animate not rabbit, that is when somebody suggested, and hold on, uh, it was Isaac suggested that um, uh, thunder should be non-rabbit animate. 
And it wasn't because, like, oh, it was going to be based on some specific animal. It was more like, oh, they see it as animate. But since we're having this distinction, mm -hmm. it should obviously be not a rabbit. Right. And it didn't go further beyond that. So I think one of the things that was tripping us up when we were trying to remember this discussion is we thought it had gone further. I don't think it had. Um, right. But I came up with an idea. An idea that I really like, so I hope everybody likes it. But uh, if you think about the non-rabbit animates, right? Uh, so mm -hmm. first, uh, mice get counted, right? Mice are rabbit animates, isn't that right? Mice, yes. Yes. They get counted. Yeah. I'm going to double check that. Oh, I'm sure somebody in the stream will remember. But um, so non-rabbit animates are definitely... Um, I mean, probably the opossums. We, I, don't, I don't remember where we fell on that, but definitely the cats and the dogs. And what mm -hmm. does thunder sound like but a massive dog? You're right. And so I was thinking that the word for thunder could be based on the idea that there, you know, the older idea that there were these original, more terrible, vicious dogs out there. And then the thunder is the call of the dogs. That oh. these dogs are okay. Yeah, these celestial huge dogs. Question. Yeah, my sequel rabbit we animates. Have, we got that. We have two thunders, the rumbly kind and the cracky kind. We do? Yes. In the grammar? In our list. On page six, if you scroll, we have Fenebe Zuko. Oh. So Fenebe is the rumbly kind, Zuko is the cracky kind, and Lightning is Sazen. Huh. Well, that doesn't work as well, does it? Oh, and yeah, so one of our ideas was that Thump oh. and Thunder would be related, but then we couldn't do that until because that wouldn't take animate if it were thumping but now this one could be and we could reverse it and have the cracky kind being thumping mm. like we could reverse it so that way the dog thing holds up for one type of thunder i don't know this this seems cool but it seems entirely separate it seems like we got to go one direction or the other i don't think we can i don't think we can work them together So when you say that, mm -hmm. do you mean we just can't work in the thump and the dog thing? Yes. Or that we can't, can, so could we do the dog idea, yeah. but then still have a cracky and a rumbly kind? Because, I mean, dogs do make sharp noises and also growling. Um, I don't see those things mapping very well. I also, what kind of thunder are we talking about? I oh might... So, have you ever been in a thunderstorm where, like, lightning hits really close by? No. Oh, then you don't know the cracky thunder. Okay, yeah, I have no idea what because you're Because rumbly is just like, it rumbles. Cracky is like, it, it's like a firework going off outside your house. <laughs> Someone help me better explain. <laughs> Cracky thunder, <laughs> but yeah, it's when the when lightning strikes really close. It's very sudden. Is that something that I don't know? We certainly don't have a word for it in English. Does it need to be distinguished? It does not need to be, and it was in fact a suggestion made by someone, and I forget who. I'm sorry. Um, and it's uh, based on something that Greek does, because Greek has two different words for thunder, is what I've been told. Now, I don't know the words for thunder in Greek, so I can't verify that. But, oh yes, there are two words for thunder in Greek, has been verified. Mm -hmm. And so that was the idea, and we ran with it. By the way, this Because is... it depends on how they sound. My thunder dog's idea, it wasn't, there wasn't one thunder dog, it was just a bunch of them, and that was the sound. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and they're not gods, they're just big and scary. And scary. Mm. Mm. 
Wait, I'm getting I'm getting some feedback here that there's three kinds of sun Greek. Oh, there's metaphorical thunder that comes from Zeus is different than the actual thunder we experience in Greek. Oh my gosh, just so you know. What are the words? Like you were saying, there are different words? Yeah, What do you happen to know the words off the top of your head? Also, which god? Okay, Zeus. No, I'm sorry, which Finnish uh, god? Oh, not for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that... Mm -hmm. um, kind of like Wesley's idea. That, Wesley? Oh, oh, go. My goodness, I think my keyboard... Did you, like, send your keyboard problems to me? <laughs> you saw how we fixed that, right? It was the option key was stuck? Yeah, but this is not a stuck option key. This is like nothing is working, and then all of a sudden, all the keys go at once. Open in. I'm very concerned. Okay. I... Nah. can't find the Greek words and he couldn't remember them off the top of his head so ah. okay so no I cannot answer that good okay I gotta move on to uh, next glyph here hmm okay so we still need a thunder yeah all, that's the only one I could find too the Kuramnus. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. Um, so yeah, the thunder takes a long time. We will need more discussion on that. Also, we had talked about litter siblings. I like so that idea. That. Let's do. Oh my gosh, the sounds of playing back there are so delightful. <laughs> Let's do S, which looks like a number four with a stroke. Oh, nice. Yeah. This one may turn funny a little bit when it comes to the, when it comes to its um, diacritics. I was actually wondering about that whenever I was looking, because if you notice my, my drawing for the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my two drawings for the week. But I was trying to draw all the glyphs in the little glyph boxes on the little computer screen. And when I hit that one, I was like, that seems like an interesting one in terms of how it's going to interact with the, the mm. vowel marks and whatnot. Oh. Evan, uh, there was no song, right? No. Yeah, there was no song. Um, okay. And then we have so many food things. But one of them... Now I'm losing my place in where I was. Oh. This I thought was an interesting suggestion. Mm -hmm. We apparently also, by the way, had several comments go on about words for death so to be nice and cheery for a moment cool. um so someone had mentioned that rabbit's teeth grow two millimeters a week and that's why they have to like chew on things to keep it down one of the things they chew on by the way is twigs so there's an entire discussion about twigs and what their importance for rabbits and rabbit diets because they actually eat twigs um and so someone suggested developing an idiom, something like his or her teeth grow no more as a, as a, as an idiomatic way of saying someone died um, because their teeth stopped growing. I like that idea, um, but um, I, need, I need help real quick. It, it did the thing again. I'm glad I caught it early this time. So do you have those Ooh, numbers, the numbers. down? So I do. 188, 76, right? And then 65, 60, 55, 63. 53. And 200 thickness. Yeah. And it seems to have no problem remembering that. It's just everything else. 
Let me just make sure that that is roughly how it would look. Okay, yeah, now I don't like it as You're much. getting so good with those numbers, I don't think you're going to need me much longer for them. I get very excited whenever you ask them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that doesn't look good anymore. So, uh, well, I'm going to keep it and then use it as a model. Mm, nope. Um, do you think, uh, this is just a, a simple opinion from anybody, do you think that when I'm doing this stroke I should go for straight, or should I intentionally go for like a little curve? Oh, on the other hand, that looks great. <laughs> well, you just took away the one that I thought you were talking about. So now I have to wait for the video to catch up to see, oh, wherever you are right now, don't do anything else. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Ilona, I definitely do want to do a polysynthetic mouse language. By the way, you got to vote. Right now, opossums are winning. If you're a patron, you got to vote. <laughs> yes, I was actually kind of surprised by how, how the votes are going. Um, so I think that the... Um, <clears throat> I think that for some reason the chat is further along than the video is. Like, you know what I mean? The video feels really delayed for me. The video does, um, but I think it's not for the patrons. I think it's just sitting here. <laughs> oh no, Bibleridian wants the possums. That's why it's winning. <laughs> People know. <laughs> wow. Now I've lost my train of thought. Where was I? Okay, so do you... I haven't changed it in a long time. Do you like this one, Jesse? Yes, that was the one I like. Okay, good. And that was, in fact, when I, like, shouted at you, like, don't... Finally. And I, and I haven't done anything <laughs> don't since... Don't do anything else. I haven't done anything since then, right? I can keep going? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Yeah, right. I shouted... So my video wasn't that slow. I mean, I shouted out at you before while ago <laughs> I got very excited hmm actually does kind of look like the stroke um, I wish there was a way I could I could say like jump ahead 15 seconds um, okay well what is on <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at what oh, I'm laughing at? At Bibleridian? Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. So uh, That is so amazing. By the way, okay. that, that fat little stroke there, I'm just going to hold it up for a bit. I think it kind of looks like what I did there. It does. So it obviously like looks much larger in terms of what you have on the screen right now, just yeah. because the proportions. But I oddly like the larger proportions that you have on the screen. Yeah, so do I. So let's stick like with that just, right it now. It feels filled. Okay, I'm just going to do a repeat set side bearings there. And we can decide later on if we want to delete the cross line. I don't think we need to. When you say delete the cross line, you mean the one that makes the four? Yes, the one. No, the one that goes all the way through. Because in mine, it didn't go all the way through. So. Um, oh, okay. So just like the part that overlaps through to the other side. Yeah, we can we can delete that at any point. Um, <clears throat> that's a pretty cool though. All right, let's see what happens now. Well, Evan called it a perfect glyph. Oh. That's nice. Uh, and so. Street light. Viva. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what a perfect glyph deserves. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of early. It's kind of early, but like Ooh, my that was also perfect. No, no, so. no. 
Ah. <laughs> Delicious. Cheers. Copico, the reward for perfection. Oh my gosh. I'm giving them slogans every week. They should be. Hmm. Oh, this is delightful. I forgot it's been two weeks because you know if I don't if I'm not part of the live stream I don't do Copico. Yeah, me too. It's actually really uh, put a cramp in my style. I love these things so much. I would be having them like <laughs> every day, several of them. I would be going through bags of them. <laughs> this very it live stream is costing really nice them money. Surprise! <laughs> What's that? This very live stream is costing them money because I would be <laughs> I would be going through so much more. But I think we're spreading the love and people are finding them. You know. Yeah. So there's more. I'm just going to put these here for the time being. Mm. And then I'll, I'll discuss later because I had a thought. It seems... Un it's... Stop that. Stop that. It seems um. likely... Oh, no, that's a call I should really take. But on the other hand, my agent should know that my live stream is happening right now. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> that feels important. <laughs> yeah, so um, okay, what is Shoot off a little text. Alk says, what if the top part becomes a square? Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Hmm. Dark Horse says that possums originated when South America and Australia were connected and then migrated into North America. Mm -hmm. You know what else has migrated further north than they belong? Mm -hmm. Armadillos. <laughs> they are now in Missouri. Like, that's how far north they've gone. It feels like you And not just southern Missouri. <laughs> Up. It feels like it's you'd have crazy. some sort of weird opinion about armadillos living in the state that but, you do. Oh, wait. Here's the thing. I had never seen an armadillo in my life until I visited Texas the first time. And I didn't spend a lot of time in the south growing up, so, like... That wasn't a shock that I didn't see armadillos. But, like, I never saw a live armadillo until I moved to Texas because normally you just see them as roadkill, right? Uh, and yeah, so, right. we all my, know that. My first live armadillo sighting wasn't until I moved here. And now, all of a sudden, they're in Missouri, like where I grew up. They sure weren't there when I was there. Mm. Oh, well, if they make it to Maryland, goodness help us all. <laughs> the Bibliridian finds them wonderful. They dig wonderful holes, I can tell you that. <laughs> What's wrong with armadillos? Like, it just figures that you would not like armadillos for some reason. <laughs> oh, Ice Tones call them the pill bugs of mammals. They kind of yeah, how would you explain an armadillo? They're darling They have creatures. armor on them. They're darling They're, darling. they're not... Of course they are! How on earth would you call them not darling? I just gotta shake my head. Um, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like... Xenarthrans? I don't even know what they are. Yeah, they really are like possums with plate armor because they've got they got like armor on. Which is cool. Ooh, I like it whenever it overlaps. Oh, that looks fun. Sorry, I'm gonna catch up here. Um, I mean yeah, it kind of does. It kind of looks cool. Um, it'll it'll need some cleaning up, but I'm going to leave that for right now. Um, a sec. Okay, I'm going to see 
Yeah. Sure, though, because armadillos are furry underneath their armor. Delightful. So I'm trying to see if it will let me share an image. But then Evan said an armadillo laying out of spite feels like they'd migrate everywhere after the fall of civilization, so they'd need a place in the expansion packs. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I think that it's going to be no. a given. It's going to be taken for granted by all the other animals that the armadillos are the most attractive species. I mean, even the cats will grudgingly admit that, well, but we're not as beautiful as armadillos. I think that sounds reasonable, don't you? No, because look at armadillos. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at how cute they are and how much They're I like nowhere them. nowhere near. I cannot put an image in. I'm sorry. I was trying to find the perfect image. I found one for um, Ilona. Awesome nights. I'm sorry. <laughs> it won't let me. But Google does have some good armadillo images if you want to see them. Pangolin or cute okay, armadillos. Listen. Bibliridian says I need to look at the pink fairy armadillo. Okay, now let's clean this what up the? to give it the give it its best shot. Oops. What? Sorry. Okay, I feel like the pink fairy armadillo oh, is like primity. what went wrong in some sort of <laughs> Evolution from a duck to a mammal. <laughs> what is this? It looks like sushi. What is it? Have you seen these, David? No. Okay. You just need to look up pink fairy armadillos. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> like, we can't keep going until everybody, everybody needs to look up a pink fairy armadillo. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Megan thinks it's the cutest thing ever. And Bibliridian, I oh. think, appreciates them. Oh, you, of course, think they're okay. Look at that. Thank you, Alona. Yes. <laughs> they look weird. Look at them. The little darlings. They look like they need scritches under their chins. I'm going to start sending pictures of, of them to your cats and letting your cats know that this is what you really look, wish you had. Look. Okay, well the drawing of Pokemon style pink fairy armadillos is cute. They're just so Isaac says that pink fairy armadillos are mice knights. <laughs> okay. One. Thank you, Alk. It is the scariest thing ever, right? Now you guys know what you're talking about. Wow. But okay, so people are very torn on what we think about it. Is there actually an Ingala song? Because apparently there's a song. Did we have an Ingala song? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um do you think it's um think it's uh hit the lights by Metallica? Hit the lights da, 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 da. No, um it's the um remember it's the it's the music. Da, 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 that your son did? Oh the lang time music? The lang time? Oh sorry, Ingala, right, Ingala specifically. That I don't know. Okay. So first, I don't think there's actually a song to sing. Second, I don't think you want to hear me sing at all. I kind of do. <laughs> you also think that those armadillos are cute. I'm not sure <laughs> about your aesthetics. Yeah. Um, however, the glyphs are looking very nice. Those aesthetics are good. Um, an anime to... fan, that is a great question. My con links can be found on my computer. I'm slowly but surely making a website. Um, a and when biscuit. I say slowly, I mean like super slowly. And so my goal is to get information about con links. I <laughs> we did that. And so 
Yeah, David and I did that. So yeah, you can you can find that one, but the rest is like slowly but surely going to get up. Yes. <laughs> Applesauce project. She was quite a dancer. Okay. We have some words Jesus. that need to be put into the language. I'm sorry, I got so far off track that this I'm just, just like this is a disaster. Watching you make glyphs, keeping up with comment streams, and I'm completely forgetting to do things in the language. We do have, um... Uh, by the way, let, give me a heads up if you want me to go somewhere in the document. For now, I'm just thinking. Um, I feel like we had entered Alice into the dictionary we did okay man have you ever seen alice doesn't live here anymore like what the hell what is it a movie no who where is it um it's a movie from the 1970s you know alice doesn't live oh. here anymore no okay gosh it's super dark um it was very depressing um, oh, I super do not recommend. Come on, I want to put a thing there. Oh, oh, I didn't expand. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alex says, wouldn't it be better if the horizontal line was longer on the left for the single line diacritic? Um, and Evan, no worries. That's okay. I just thought I didn't know what song. I thought maybe I put a song I didn't know about. But yes, Devin can sing. Devin, David can sing. I just called you Kevin. Yikes. Why? I don't Yikes. know. Um, that needs to be your new name, though. Ugh. No. Oh my goodness! I don't even want. But to. it takes out it takes out all the syllables in the middle of your name, David Peterson. Yeah. You get the mm, you get the Dave. And you just put them together. Wow. Done. Yeah. Um. And. I know, <laughs> Megan says I should let you choose the the colors for my website because you're the Thank your websites you. are the best. That's right. That's right. They and are. Ilona, um, honestly, if you can find That's some communities right. to get involved with, um, there are a lot of conlingers out there, um, both students and professors alike. And um, yeah, if, if you find a good community to get involved with online that can give you some confidence to start talking to other people, and you may be surprised at just how many people either conlang or appreciate conlanging, mm -hmm. that would be a good thing. Uh, um, okay, so uh, I'm sorry to back up, but did mm -hmm. somebody suggest that this one, the line should be longer? This line should be longer? Is that the suggestion? All right, so Alk said the horizontal line, should it be longer on the left for the single line diacritic? So it would be this one that you're looking at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give that a shot. Um, I'll, I'll, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what to do. I know what to do. There's going to be a lot to look at when I'm done here. I'm just going to say that. And, okay, so as you're you're doing that, Dark Horse had said, what about the diacritic on the bottom? No. Kind of like replacing the little dash. No. Okay. Uh, um, and I'm, you know what? I'm going to guess that David, David has been called um, Peter in his life before. So it's probably not going to, if you ever do accidentally call him Peter, I'm guessing it's not the first time that's happened. Oh, no, it's not. And I'm sure that they're saying that because they know about how much I hate it. Oh. It's the, okay. I call him Devin, apparently. But He'll the thing get over is, it. It's, it's not... Hmm, I don't know if that looks good. But um, the thing is, it's not like, you know, like I care about, you know, random people like on, on Twitter or like, or whatever. Um, it's like I get an email from somebody who's like, either wants to interview me or wants to do something official and they're, they're just mm -hmm. like they just open it up hi Peter 
Or even worse, they respond to my email and say, hi, Peter. I'm like, you want something from me right now, and you're calling me <laughs> Peter? You don't even have the decency to just look at the name I put at the bottom of my <laughs> own email? Oh. I mean, do you get called oh. Sam a lot? <laughs> so I think we had actually talked about this on a podcast. We did, Either that we? you and I just talked about it. Somehow. Because cause I knew that you, <laughs> you weren't a fan of that. And I told you, because my son, Will, and then, of course, Sam's. Yeah. We have another potential name there. He gets called Sam all the time. Maybe you would get called Sam more often if um, Who's the Boss was still on. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'm excited. So I haven't really been looking. I've been reading on comments so much mm-hmm. that I haven't even looked to see what you have done. Um, oh, can we destroy the To Cry Out option because we have a word uvu for that exact purpose and i'm double checking uvu but if i remember that correctly i think you're right uh hmm. you are absolutely right yeah so i'm gonna kill that option it will join send files okay this is gonna be tough this is gonna be very difficult but i'm gonna try it anyway Oh boy. All right. I'm excited to see what happens now. It's okay. Um, I'm going to try to line these up. Since you turned up my microphone, can you really hear me crunch too? Oh yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to try to put these in the order that they belong in. Um, I guess this one would go. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. No one in between, how can we be wrong? Say away with me. I'm so here dancing, it's lovely. Um, <laughs> And then those two are relatively the same, but let's put the shorter one first. Okay. And then these two are kind of versions of the same. Let me explain what you're looking at here. I'm going to try to zoom in as much as I can. Uh, Please do. Wow, we still see everything on the screen. Um, actually, I do want to verify that you can actually see these on the screen. I see two rows of okay good four. That's, that's enough or five the bottom row has five options. yeah okay so i've grouped oh these. wait just a second i'm now it's zoomed in more and it's scrolling over very very i know it slowly different things respond okay to okay the, now i see them all again we're good yeah different things um respond to the scroll wheel scroll wheel in different ways so on the left that's our basic that's that's what we'd have if you just put up um you know the diacritics as we have them mm-hmm. on the left this is allowing for maximum overlap uh, um, and for both of them. So you see maximum overlap up here and then an overlapping kind of straight across. And then these two, the one on the right is longer than the one on the left. Okay? So this is kind of like option A, this is option B, and then option C, you can see uh, this overline, it's just placed in slightly a different place, so it would be one of those two, and this one again, shorter longer um, and this one has a uh, minimal overlap the only overlap is on the lower right side um, and this is for s um, oh I love doing that audiobook applesauce project um, so uh, yeah any thoughts on columns a B or C a is basic B is uh, maximum overlap C is minimum overlap and then we can get into the fine grain distinctions it turns out that I either like minimum or maximum. Like no overlap or maximum overlap. That is apparently 
how I roll. Hmm. Um, and Evan is reminding, I wonder if that's why that name was half my name, that name was stuck in my head, um, that we need to revisit Lu Chai in comparative constructions. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, so seeing a lot of uh, C, A or C, really? Jasmine, I feel you though, B, I thought, but that's okay. Um, and then of course, if Bibliridian okay. votes, his votes cap for a million. Right, and then Ragdoll is A or C, so be short. B or C, okay. I'm sitting here at one, two, and two are the votes that I've counted so far. Okay. Oh, wow. Your book inspired Alona to study linguistics. Oh, seriously? Oh, that's nice. I'm telling you, linguistics, they owes me. Um, okay, so... Okay, so B, I, I feel like, is starting to get some more... Some more love, but also, I think one person had just said they needed to clarify, so that may be the same vote twice. People seem to like the short better than the long. Yeah, I actually like the short better than the long, too. Let's go yeah, ahead... Yeah, I do, too. Let's go ahead and um, remove... It was a good try. Go ahead and remove the long. And it, B and C are getting more love than A. Yeah. And so it's really between those two, and it's really kind of tied. Like, I see a lot of, it goes back and forth. And like I said, in my mind, I'm trying to skip over ones where it's a multiple vote from one person. Um, let's put this on pause for one second um, and okay. forget all of them except for these two. Which of those two do you like, first or second? Just a second. I'm waiting for something to be highlighted. Um, Which upper right two hand, are we choosing upper right hand corner, me? upper right hand corner, first or second? <laughs> oh, there's a slight difference. I, I thought it was a huge difference, but okay. Really? Yeah. What is the huge difference? I mean, it's a massive difference, like... <laughs> I... <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> like, if I re-stare, I can see that the one on the left, the, the line on the left goes up higher, therefore it is a little bit further up than the one on the right, which must be further down on it. Um, okay, so first, 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 second, second. So there, there's th <clears throat> three votes for first, three. two for and second, two. everybody's oh, saying the first, okay, like, so yeah. So first. I guess I have to trust you, I think the first looks terrible, but I... Really? Yeah, I think that this looks totally mis like out of place, I don't know, but whatever. I, I, this is, this is why I asked. This is why I, this is why I asked. Um, so, okay. So now that that's done, we can just look at columns here. Um, uh, columns A, B, and C. Let's space them out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And now I'm, okay, interesting. This one, this one is going to need some work. You can see if you zoom in, there's some unevenness right there. That'll need some work. Um, okay. But the idea is that this stroke is allowed to, to go through. Which really the only way I can tell is that there's a kind of melds. It's almost like there's a in column C, there's a distinct cutoff where the that top stroke comes down, but in this 
and B, it's almost like that could have been one stroke, just a swoopy. Okay. Okay, B. It B, looks like, yeah. B. <clears throat> B, B. <laughs> and he's access all, all B. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have it go through. All right. Um, so that was these two. Actually, they're already in there. So that's good. Um, and we'll just clean this up right here. Uh, all we need to do is expand that and then just uh, think um, think we can delete that. That clears that up, but just in case I'm going to delete this too. Yeah, that, that clears it up. Um, I am going All right. to add Done. a big word list of words that we need to add into Ingala. <laughs> Obviously in a different size font than <laughs> what's in the document natively. That's nice. Um, when you get a moment, mm. can you scroll the pages document so that the new words I've added here, everything that I have highlighted right now yeah. is on the screen if possible, but it's over a page break, so it may not be possible. Oh, it's over a page break. No, um, can you, uh, here, we're, I'm going to make that so it's on a single page if you just want to work with it right now. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it right now. Page break, or are you? Oh, doing I'm doing it. it? I'm doing it. Off? Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. Because my question for you all, as some things are getting cleaned up on that glyph, we have two new words, and really, I I think that Casali is going to end up needing to just be a three syllable root. I don't think the compound is going to work. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. Um, Wait. So we're also going to put Cas... Wait, what? Casali? Are you okay with that being a three-syllable root without it being... No. Wait. A... Wait, undo, undo. I'm going to put it back. Hold on a sec. Where is it? <laughs> on the to-do list highlighted right here. If you scroll down a tiny bit more, you'll see it. Wait, what is so this? We, we need to have this as a root. We need to have a modern form Cassidy. Oh, I, oh, so, oh, oh, cause you're saying these words already exist. Yeah, and well, Casa doesn't, but Lee existed, and it was the only thing that I could get to match any of the inner forms. Like, there's no Sally, there's no Casa, there's no Ali. Like, nothing else worked with what we currently had in Root, so I was just trying to do things we already had. Wait, do we already um, have Sally? So, mm -hmm. Well, do we have both forms of Sally? We don't have Sally at all. No, no we don't have Sally. We could just, it could just be capital Sally. But then we need to know what cat is. Yeah, but it could be, um, it could be this, right? Just a second. Aww. Come Hi. here, Roman. Come here, my boy. What's wrong? I know you brought something over there and you want everybody to see, but it's kind of far away, my boy. <laughs> Come here, my precious little man. Come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, everybody wants to see you. Here, just say hi real quick. Hello. Hey, okay, my boy. Beautiful. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, my His boy. His eyes are gorgeous. Okay, my precious boy. Okay. Now, what's wrong? So, what's wrong? could we have that form that you just typed in? Yes. Like, the modern form just needs to be... And I'm double checking. Cassidy needs to be the modern form because it's a the, it's a name. Um, yeah, but um, so if it was compound, it would be uh, it would be Casali, right? So you could have okay. something like that, and that would this would uh, satisfy the minimal word uh, root, right? 
Um, mm -hmm. You could also have a suffix that's like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, you could, you could also have a prefix where this was the proto form, modern form is this, and then the prefixal form is that, right? So I didn't know how many ka prefixes, because we also have kali, which becomes ka in front of some sounds, but then becomes kai and kal in front of other sounds. In front of sali, it would not be, it would be kai sali instead of ka sali. Where does it become ka? Since it's in, what's that? Where does it become ka? Um, in front of, I think it's in front of any consonant. No, not in front of a consonant. It's in front of something specific. Mm. Now I'm trying to find it. I don't think so. Oh, page break. Ruined everything. In front of ta, it's... Is that kata? Just it's, a second. No, it's kai. <laughs> what has happened here? Sorry, is it always... Yeah, what well, we need Okay, to... so never mind. It's never ka. It's You're never right. ka. For yeah. some reason, I thought we had an example. And it doesn't need to necessarily be a prefix. Uh, it could just be... Um, it could just be a, a shortening that happened, you know, say that this was, you know, the original form or I don't know. No, well, no, but like, like it could just be a okay. compound where that was the original form. So like a very old compound where it didn't get its copy valve, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, there are options. But um, here, I'll, I'll leave that on the screen. Uh, looks like we don't need these. And I'm going to take these away. Oh my gosh, keyboard, come on. I don't know if it's my computer not responding to my keyboard as fast as it's supposed to be. But I'm actually, I'm very concerned. <laughs> this is bizarre. Okay, so the reason I wanted all these words, by the way, on the screen, yeah. I got sidetracked. These are words that we need to add to the language. Um, and... The top two, and then as soon as we figure out what to do with Castle, also needs to be added to the language for a name. But we also, we need Ingalada and Yashu to be forms. That can't be right. Something went wrong. Yes, yeah, something did go wrong. Uh, what? What's, what, what's, what's what's matter? I typed three forms. I swear. Where did you Something type Something is happening. Okay. Um, we need three names. Just saying. I'm... Sure. <laughs> Basically, every time I type something, it's taking another eight seconds. And now everything's gone. Oh, my gosh. Hands off. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> This is like that one day, do you remember when whatever you tried to type an N would show up? Oh. Do you remember that day? It, it rings a bell. <laughs> okay, well that's something similar to what's going on with me. Dang. Like things are just not happening right. Okay, we have three words to put into the language. Lemmy and Galida and Yashu all need to find homes in our language with meanings. Um, and I'm making Ooh, sure I found them all. Yes. Yeah. And so I thought it would be nice to maybe assign some of these meanings that we already have here that need to be worked in to these name forms. Okay. That one, I'm super curious to see how it's going to come out with these brushes. I'm super excited to see how that cross. It's probably not going to work. So I'm just going to say that. <laughs> okay. It's probably not going to work. Um. Um. Okay, and I'm also seeing what I... Um, actually, glyph, Dark Horse Glyph is the more general term because letter indicates an alphabet um, yeah. 
and there are other like specific words you could use for other writing systems, but glyph is sort of generic and could be applied to um, everything. Amazing. And yes, I, I do that. teach linguistics and other commenters are correct. I have my doctorate in linguistics. And I do not. <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to, you know, <laughs> rub that in a little, yeah. no, um, I'm going to just go ahead and at some point, my institution doesn't have a doctorate that I could grant, but I keep telling David, I'm just going to grant him an honorary one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't forget Lomon. Oh, that's the word why? for cat. For cat, cat. That's yeah. Right. Okay. I didn't get Which why. Which we still had. I didn't get why people didn't like it. Lomon. Did we agree on that? Because I feel like last time there was disagreement about what it should or should not be, and then we ended up just saying, forget it, we'll do it next time. Is um, Lomon for real? Lomon is how it would come out, no matter what you put in there, whether it's schwa or whether it's ah, it's going to come out as Lomon, right? Um, and they, Are you saying yes to the word? Many people did not like it. Oh, I think it was nice. Um, Ilona, was your plan to just kind of go to, you know, get a BA in linguistics? Like, what what was your plan? It depends what you want to do. I mean, if you don't if you don't want to get a doctorate, you definitely should not. Um, but if you do, then you should. And. <laughs> completely change subjects. Sorry. Evan, the collective and the eventative are actually the same prefix, and it really just depends on what root it's added to. And that sort of happened accidentally, and we didn't realize until later that we had these different forms from the same word. Um... Okay, other, you know what, Lomon is nice. Well, we can't get Loman, so we'll just, I think, Lomon. That's, that works, right? Okay. Oh, based on what I see, is it meant to be small? Yes, it was. I, I wanted to see what okay. it looked like small. I wanted to see what it looked like small. And yeah, I think the, the cross hatch would disappear anyway, sort of naturally. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. So now, now, are we happy with Lomon? Can I put that in? Sure, let's do it for Cat. And I'm going to make this the proto form to make it as close as possible to his name. Yep. Uh, except that the protoform would be schwa you. Of course it would. This is why I need you. Okay. <laughs> um, wonderful. Because then we can also fix, if you recall, there's an example sentence where we wanted to use the word for cat but didn't have one. So now I can fix that. All right. Okay. And then I'll come back to those other words that we need to enter. First, I want to get Lumon entered into the dictionary on all sides. And I have to remind myself what the plural prefix is for animate non-rabbit. Oh no, that's only pronouns. All animates. Oh. Yeah, you definitely don't need to need. You don't need to know what you're doing. You're if you're doing your BA right now, Ilona, that's fine. Um, you know. Um, just just keep at it. Don't necessarily worry about 
what you have to do in the future at this point. Um, that's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering. Applesauce and alk. What do you think? Should this diet? Should this diacritic be that far right? It's supposed to be above the point in the leaf, but I don't know. Can you move it one hitch to the left? I can move it tons to the left. Uh, the question is, where ought it be? I feel like it's too far right. <laughs> um. Okay, as you're thinking about that too, how would, because Mika daughter becomes as Mika, right? Yes. But then Ta father becomes a Ta for fathers. What would Loman do? Um, no, oh, I don't know, like whatever. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so a uh, glyph in my head. I mean, we just go to the go to the thing, um, and it'll tell us. I'm trying to remember why it's Asmika and not Amika. Um, be, because that's of what I'm trying to remember. It's a, uh, I don't remember because that's allowed. I don't know. <laughs> so then I couldn't. Um, I'm just trying to see, you know, where the L would go. I'm so distracted. Um, do you see what happens? <laughs> Noun number. Asme, Asmika, Sada, Shensi. Because we don't have any other animate L words, so like there's nothing. Because those are all toes. Well, this is because it's a pre-nasalized thing. Right. right, but then I couldn't remember why Mika, which is not pre pre nasalized, got the as Mika. Because it's a loud. Because it comes from a protoform with an S. Yeah. And it's allowed. Oh my goodness. What are our rules for word internal codas? I don't remember. Well, S and N are the only ones that are super codas and are allowed internally. Are they allowed? But I also, is it because it's alveolar and asta just became ata? Like. Yes, it did. That's why. Um, that's why that happened. So I guess it's just S L, right? Okay, so aslomon. Yeah, let's take a look. Do we really not have a word with L that takes this type of plural? <laughs> no, that's where I looked first. <laughs> and then I was also looking at our rules specific to, and I don't see anything like that with SL, whether it's By the way, Ev or not. Evan, so Luchai, we have that definition in there. Are you suggesting that there was a particular example that was wrong? Miss Len, there we go. Remember? What was? Yes, yeah, so it's just S. Oh, yes. Miss okay. Len. So. Okay. Woo. Doing good. I'll let you get back to some glyph work. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta do that. You've got things to do. I don't know where I should be. To do list there. I'll put, I'll put you there. Yeah. Hopefully, um, as I add the other diacritics, it will become clear what we should do with that first one. Um, Hmm. Actually, that's a that's an interesting thing. Oops. Don't you hate it when you have the alphabet wrong in your own language? Mm. Trying to alphabetize things in English. So here we have another instance where I think 
these should go across. So let's take a look at doing that up here. Um, let, let me make some room. Where are all these going? I'll just leave those there for right now. Um, but uh, oh, are we looking at different glyphs to try to vote? Oh, Evan is suggesting that our comparative works uh, should work very differently from the way it does. Um, but I think that that might be wrong. Uh, our example sentence with cat in it. Oh, that's exciting. Um, okay, stretching past in context. Okay, I think I see, just say I'm going to pull up Hmm. We had a different distinction in play. Oh, you're oh you're on that. Maybe I could just see where you are there. We, um, we had a different distinction in play, which which allowed us to uh, have an encoative. Um, the. Um, but it. By the suggestion, I think it would be directly tied to the aspect of the verb, so that if it was imperfect, it would take luchai, but if it was perfect, it would take ajai. Hmm. Um, because the luchai was only supposed to be for, like, if it's becoming fluffier than something, or becoming... That was what we had created. Um, mm -hmm. Evan is suggesting that it, it's not, that that doesn't work. Um, because if we take this literally, the rabbit is stretching beyond um, mm -hmm. the stump with fluffiness. And so this beyond should be, it should be lot of, it should be um, to a point beyond, not at a point beyond. He's saying that this doesn't make sense. Um, it's a mismatch. Mm. Because the stretching is happening right and so mm -hmm. you stretch to somewhere not you have stretched at some point beyond this is suggesting that the rabbit is just stretching on its own and where it happens to be doing it is beyond the stump okay yeah it really should be luchai um with this particular one anyway though one oh. it Okay, um, because like down here when we just talk about like the rabbit is fluffy, yeah, it would just be a regular verb form, and so yeah. to just say the rabbit is fluffier than the stump, it seems like it would just be um, not the imperfective, because the rabbit is fluffy, this should just be him Oh, uh, versus because the imperfective means the rabbit is being fluffy, like the rabbit. Sorry, yeah, you're right. 
So that that was it. That's that's a different issue, but it is now fixed. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, what's the matter? Okay. Oh, you can go ahead. <laughs> and and hello to Aaron, by the way. That's that's really too bad because it's another L, first of all. What? Wait, are you saying it's too bad because Luchai would go in the examples and it's just another L word? Yeah. Okay, so we would keep the Ajay, but only when... No. No, uh, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be Ajay. <laughs> ever? N no, it shouldn't ever be Ajay. It should always be Luchai. It's probably okay. Oh, no. dropped her soda. Ah, that is unfortunate. I think we're going to have to rip this out by the roots. Because um, I thought the whole point of the Ajay was that it is stretching and it's beyond the stump in how much it's stretching with fluffiness. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to try and represent this visually somehow. It's not going to work. But um, this is what this is what we're, we're talking about here. Here's the stump, yeah. And then here is the rabbit stretching with fluffiness beyond the stump. So the rabbit is now beyond the stump because it has stretched there. Um, mm -hmm. That's luchai. This is a jai. Here's the stump. The rabbit is already beyond it, and it's just stretching for whatever mm. reason. Well, it's flexing, because it's like, look, I'm so fluffy, you're a dot to me back there. Yeah, but, like, that's not what we meant. We meant, we meant this, where it was actually moving past it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um. Um. Okay. So. I feel, like, sad about this, if for no other reason... Mm -hmm. Then I did drawings with a J. <laughs> I know. They're all... Nothing can be changed once I do a drawing. They're all they're all wrong now. All your drawings they have I to get destroyed. Also, really like the sound of a J. Oh. Yeah. So. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. And this also means that we don't have, um, we don't have any way to do encoders. And uh, get rid of that. I need a moment. Like this hurts worse that. than the umlauts and the central vowels and <laughs> like I just I need a moment <laughs> oh my gosh okay <laughs> yeah all right I'll, I'll get over it you in get... like three years yeah Anyway, back to, uh... But the drawings are staying as evidence that we once had a Jai in our comparative construction. There's the to-do list again. <laughs> and can you scroll so the this list of words is visible, too? No. I mean, it's one or the other. Like, which one do you want? Oh, I just need the top three bullet points from the to-do list. Okay, but it's not going to have all the words close enough. Need to ask for info or verification before I start 
yelling out ideas for people to vote on. Um, what? What do you mean? Do you need Do you need our attention on the glyph right now, or can I talk no, about no, words no, with no, the you, commenters? You go ahead. Oh, oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I say that, and then I get super sidetracked because that looks nice. Okay, that one looks even better. What? The one you just did? Did you take it away? Yeah, I took it away because that's this. Remember, <laughs> we're we're doing something different. <laughs> And so I'm commenting on something you did three three times ago. <laughs> All right. So until we need to vote on a glyph issue or a shout direction, I'll keep trying to look at comments for those. Um, we have Lemmy, Ingalida, and Yashu. All needs all need to be words. In Ingala, and we have this list, this bullet point list of words that David had said should be in for reasons dealing with like the game itself and the players, um, as well as a couple of words down at the bottom that other people had said we need a word for this in the language. Um, and so, really, we just need to assign and just trying to decide what does Lemmy feel like. I don't feel like Lemmy is a weapon. But me, it's cool. Maybe some heat. I like that you left cool in there, by the way. <laughs> um, maybe it's a gadget or a contraption. Oh, that should really, that's the same kind of idea as thingamajig. So I think thingamajig should just overlap with that category right there. Um, but yeah, my question to you is what does Lemmy feel like based on this list of words we need to incorporate into the language? And you're only missing weapons at the top. And like I said, Lemmy's just not a weapon. I mean, it's just not. <laughs> ah, okay, so Megan says maybe it should mean thingamabob, which would be thingamajig, which would also, I think, be gadget slash contraption. Because I think they're all kind of used in the same kind of way. At least they are for me. It's pretty basic for a word that means thingamajig, isn't it? But what about gadget? This thing. This thing. It's a lemmy. A thing. Okay. <laughs> I can kind of see that. I mean, we can make it fancier for when it's thingamajig or thingamabob. We can make it fancier, but... So you you seeing that like this should just be a word for thing? Pretty much. Okay. But I guess we already have the pronoun. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, George says magic. Lemmy. Oh. Lemmy. No? No. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Apple Sauce Project says you know, it should be the word you use when you can't think of the word to use. Lemmy. Lemmy. And it starts with an L, which means it's going to catch almost all the words I'm trying to think of in our language. But I can't remember the right one, so I'm just going to say Lemmy. I'm like trying so hard not to distract David while trying so hard to distract him. It's great. Every time I hear Lemmy, all I just, I just think about, you know, what's it? Um, you know, um, uh, Motorhead. And, uh, and, uh, you know, Hawkwind. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm going to smile and nod. Uh, it's a band, you know, famous, um, bass player, Lemmy. He is so famous that he just went by the name Lemmy. Wait, so should, should he be, should Lemmy be a musical instrument huh. in honor of Lemmy? Because we need musical instruments. I suppose you're right, we do. And I really wonder what kind of some sort, right? Like, yeah. you just have to. Or maybe some sort of, like, what are those called? Not clavicles, because those are the shoulder bones. The uh, 
The ones you like beat together, percussion. Glockenspiel? Oh, no. It starts Castanet? with a C. It's a Lemmy, a Lemmy, I don't know what it is. Uh, no, seriously, Castanet? Castanet, yes. Thank you. Oh, I may have been thinking of Clavier, Logan, you're right. But not what I should have been thinking of him. Because I was thinking more... More light castanets? That wasn't exactly what I was thinking of, though. I'm seriously looking up C instruments. I'll find it eventually. But yeah, I do sticks. They beat sticks together. <laughs> Lavinette? Now I feel like we're making up things, but I love it. <laughs> okay. All that is to say, do we think... Do we think Lemmy sounds like a drum? <laughs> Dark Horse. If they have bagpipes. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> no. I'm going to type it until somebody says a new. <laughs> I almost think I like, know. you know, Lumi or Lomi would be a drum unless it's, um, mm. Congo, Conling Bongo. <laughs> okay. So I'm taking drum away cause it doesn't feel drummy enough. Totally fine. In the meantime, I am going to figure out percussion instrument. Sticks. Two sticks. People look this this stuff up. It's like a wood block, but not. I'm gonna put It may just be the clay. It is. Claves. And I think somebody even said that, and I couldn't find it. Somebody said clavicle. Picture of it. I said clavicle. <laughs> this is how it's spelled, claves. And it's literally like two... Um, like wooden sticks that are thick and you you beat them but like they make a bright so like you know how like the um, the wood block sounds more open and empty these when you click them together they sound like really sharp and bright and limmy like hmm. <laughs> and I do think you could make this from clavicles. I'm sure they're the right. <laughs> can you can you perhaps Google us an example so that we can hear the sound of it? Sure, I can. Now the question is. By the way, I'm thinking. Of, I'm just thinking of Arrested Development and Fake Block. Anybody remembers that? Oh. What are you thinking? Sorry. Uh, Arrested Development and Fake Block. Oh, not really that. oh, do you know um, Arrested Development of the show? I Like, I know of it. I've oh. never watched it. If you ever want to know what Orange County is really like, you watch Arrested Development. <laughs> okay. So, in a moment, there's a video demonstrating Claves. I'm waiting for him to play, and then I'm going to play and see if you can hear. Can you hear if I'm watching a video? through my headphones? You know, I don't know. We're gonna find. Yeah. We're gonna find out. All right, here goes nothing. Can you hear? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put a link to <laughs> a YouTube video and it's nice and short. If you, oh, brings back days of high school. I was in band. Okay. Were you? Wait, what did you play? I was in percussion, which is why I should have known the word claves. Oh, what'd you play? Well, my main instrument was the marimba. Dang. You mean the marimba? That's, I 
said the marimba. <laughs> it sounded like you s- said the maramba or maramba. No. Marimba. The marimba. Marimba. M a r i m b a, right? It's yeah. It's an I in there. I said marimba. Maybe I just maybe my accent is getting、hmm. okay <laughs> more ashy. <laughs> oh. That's what you should have done. So Applesauce Project says it's in the Beatles song, and I love her that that in the background, right? I, Very, I'm sorry, it's much more high pitched than that. I, I can't I can't do it with with my voice, but I know I know the sound now.、Um, okay, yeah, I could see that being a Lemmy. I mean, a little weird for it, but whatever. Lemmy is just a very ugly string. There's there's no saving it.、Um, okay. I, I was wondering if everybody could look at A, B, C, and D here. A, B,、yes. C, and D.、Um, C and D, the stroke goes through, and then the difference、uh, in between is shorter versus longer. Shorter, longer. So short, long, short, long, and then no stroke through, stroke through on the top. Wow. I'm not even going to put an opinion out there on this one because I think they all look good. You've done too good of a job. <laughs> all right, applesauce says、um, C. C in both places.、Uh, C is short, and the stroke goes through.、Uh, Alk is saying A. Any other any other opinions?、Um, oh, there's Alk. Sorry, I missed yours, Alk.、Um, Ice Tone says A.、Mm. Ragdoll says B. Megan just says not C or D. Okay. A or B are fine. Alk says A bottom or A top, but C bottom. That's. No, we couldn't do that. It would either go through on both or neither. I think A is feeling some more. Looks like interest.、It. Yeah.、Oh, sad day when I run out of water in the middle of the live stream. That reminds me, I haven't been drinking enough.、Water. Don't drink in front of me. That's just rude. <laughs> <sighs> Nourishing, delicious did, water.、Mm. You did that too.、Oh. We're getting some A words too. <laughs> oh, oh! Here、B、comes Bibleridian. He's about to. He's about Bibleridian. To, he's about to throw down. Is a million. And I'm thinking, by the way, Galade. That feels like magic. It does end up being、yeah. a very large root.、Um, that's still a root. It's still disyllabic. By the way, disyllabic、yeah. or bisyllabic? One moment, please, while I think over that. <laughs> I feel like it would have to be die for how I think of it. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, Logan's got it. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And now, the, and the and of course the the domestic chicken will be in Galade and Galade. <laughs> Man, Bibleridian is really holding the floor here. We're all breathlessly waiting for his vote, and yet. Right. <laughs> When do we get the opinion? Die, Salabic, die. It's、so now I like I haven't done any of these.、Uh, we do have Yashu. Maybe Yashu actually because it's got that glide、yep. in front of it to、Yashu. stop the at. Yashu feels like wind. Oh wow, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, so we didn't take care of any of the words on the bullet point list.、Mm. 
No, that's good. That's good though. That's a useful one. That's a useful one. I like it. Do we want chicken for Ingala Day while we're waiting? Okay. Here we go. One million points distributed between A and B. A it is. Alright. Okay. It is done. Uh, okay, so we need to get rid of those and put those somewhere. Put those there. Evan, I think you're right. Did we already? We did. What? Lemmy was already added. Thank you, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It is not claves. <laughs> It means to taste or try. Oh, that's funny. So that's why somebody said... Uh, <laughs> Nanosaurus? Is that, a, is that a real thing? That is was it, already added. Is, it, is there such a thing as a Nanosaurus? No, but that's why... Um, <laughs> that's why I, I think it was Evan who was saying, like, wow, we really made the word for taste uh, the same as the main character in Ratatouille. Oh my Remy. gosh. Which, by the way, I love because my sister has this weird obsession with hating Ratatouille. I think it's because she knows it's my favorite uh, Pixar. I have to agree with that. I'm trying to think through Pixar... Was it named I mean, I love Ratatouille, though, but I'm trying to think of if there's another one that I also feel very strongly about. And now I have that name filled in, so Lemmy won't happen again. Anyway, and I guess Nanook Soros should be pronounced with a P as often as I Iraq is pronounced with a P in, 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 you know, regular English. So if you do, you know, it seems like most of the time you just replace it with K and nobody notices. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, where where are you working right now, Jesse? Uh, in the document. Oh well, right now I was just on Chicken and Wind. I had to remove Lemmy after I scrolled down and looked and verified that it was already in the dictionary. I know they did. Yeah, I know they did. But so right now, all that I'm gonna do is enter these into the dictionary. Yeah. I don't know where they'll be seeing chickens. Eventually there will be chickens in this game, I have to assume. I mean, surely. Yeah. But yeah, was was the Nanookasaurus, was it named after Nanook of the North? I know that that is spelled with a K, but I thought maybe that was just because, you know, we didn't have that sound in English, so they just spelled it with a K. All right. Yeah, that's a good call. I'm a shorter one. Anyway, so now back to this. What do you think if you what do you think if you look at all of these in a row? Should the uh, is the oh here we go okay is the is the uh, circumflex diacritic, is that well placed or should it be moved one way or the other? Now it feels too far left. <laughs> the others I'm happy with. <laughs> Megan just to said, right. is it too far to the right? <laughs> what? You see, it depends where where you where you consider the center of the character. So it's like if this is the center, then yeah, it should be further to the right. <laughs> like I feel like it should go here when we did Loman, and we didn't have any other words after that. We had some glyph voting, <laughs> some issues with. I think you were here for the Luchaya Jai discussion too, so I don't think you missed anything. In terms of that, it was really glyph, I think, that you missed. So the idea with this thing is that you're you're deciding whether to center it, center it across the whole character. 
center it with mm -hmm. respect to this line or center it with respect to this kind of open shape right here. And I guess I feel like it should be a bit more centered on the open shape. No, maybe maybe more the line. I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like I feel like no matter where you move it, I'm gonna feel like it needs to move somewhere else. Sorry. Yeah, and um, but uh, what was I gonna say? Um, uh, so has anybody looked up? That's one. Looking at Nanook of the North right now. Oh, smoke. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I'll have to do a deep dive here. It's not immediately obvious from the article I'm looking at. Okay, and now. Try. This is probably going to end up being the pole right here. Um, Evan, there are only 17 A entries I just counted, um, and it still has a Jai in it, so I'm not sure something may have gotten removed, like uh, there may have been a no. secondary meaning on the, the a Jai that got removed. <coughs> that secondary definition of an, on a Jai got, got removed. Um, okay, so that's why, that's why the number went down, but a Jai is still there. Yeah. Okay. This is going to take... All of my cunning. <laughs> I may sneeze in response. All right. Nope. Nope. No sneeze. <laughs> oh, but I am excited to see where this goes with the connecting possibility as one of the options. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting idea. I don't know if it's properly executed. Now the next one. I don't even know if I can pull this off, but we're going to try. Mm. Huh. Well, W. Watson and Logan have different information about Nanook's name. All right. Because Logan says that it is an Anglic anglicization of Nanook, so his name is Polar Bear, but W. Watson has written the name much differently, and I can't pronounce it. And the R is a uvular stop. That's really, I would really struggle with that. Uh, what? Is that, is that? Alaka. The, the R is not a uvular stop. The R is a uvular. Uh, either trill or fricative, depending on the dialect. I think um, it's just a spelling of it. I don't know. No, but um, at least it's in my references. R is no. this is this one. This shape, by the way, really takes me back. As this is uh, as I'm basically trying to form a kamikawi glyph here. It's much easier when you, you know, when you don't care if it looks good, or you don't know that it could look better. <laughs> that is great. Although that was fun to have a little four there. Yeah, that is what we're doing. Why is this? I can see the struggles, though, um, as you're trying to get that. It's got a curve. 
so it's got a curve like that to make it as open as possible and I just need to nail it. Why does my phone keep going to sleep? It never does that when I have the, 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 the live chat going. Did you do the new update? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I was going to say maybe it's a new update feature. That is obviously way too curvy. Oh, boy. What did you copy and paste like that? Gosh. If it's going to oh, keep going to sleep, I'm going to... Try that. What's going on? What's going on over in Jesseville? I'm trying to enter the word for chicken. Is it sassin yet? I'm trying to just... What's that? Is it sassin yet? Sassin yet? Is it sassin yet? Oh, so many things are happening. Is it causing you sass? Is it insassin because you? Insassinating. <laughs> um, no, it's like things that I copy and paste from an obvious formatting that should look like this is like it's copying and pasting in a weird format but telling me it's the right font at size 12 and like I think that pages and I just need to have some words and speaking of which my tablet because mouse is doing some nutso okay so what is there like some weird planetary thing going on yeah, probably. What is happening? The Jessies are out of alignment. <laughs> the Celestial Jessies. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. Okay. So now I'm going to see if it will let me. No, it's just... Ugh. Ugh. I'm having... A day. It's okay. Try that day. It's a really fun word. Chicken. Okay, I believe the plural form would be as galide, like that ingma would just drop out altogether. I need to double check that though. Oh, and I need to actually have sound change applier open to check that. Let's try that. Eight screens later. And I'm excited to see where we've gone on these options over here. Let's try that. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that I went through that. Um, let's see. Expand that. Gonna, I'm going to do something uh, a little bit different uh, based on the same idea. And it's going to be this. But Added chicken to the dictionary. <laughs> Every language needs a word for chicken. Otherwise, how would we know how to feel like tonight? <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. Okay, that has potential. I'm not sure that's the final form that we should go with, but... Oh. It does look very keen of as I was thinking of that. This uh, this one is definitely not in the running. This one has potential. Whoa! Oh, it's not gonna it's not gonna do that on me, is it? Oh, it is gonna do that on me. Oh my gosh! All right, fine. I'm gonna put it back. Jeez! Get so bent out of shape. It when told you, you. When you put things in the wrong location. Okay, I, I really like this, but this one I think was too long and ridiculous, so I'm going to keep trying with it. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta... Never mind. Let's just delete it. Okay. It's all gone now. So I just remember it was too long and ridiculous. Something like that. A little tapering at the end will need to be fixed. Needs to be bigger than that. Very excited once I'm done entering these. It's crazy how long it takes to just enter some dictionary entries at times. Hmm. But it's so rewarding, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> nah. A little bit more up than that. Give it a little bit of a notch. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, I've encountered another one. Yashu being wind, if we want it to be pluralized, would take the T prefix. Um, so would it be Toyashu or would it be Chashu? Um... No, because it's it's coming before a vowel. So what does it do before a vowel? Um, just a T. So T and then Yashu. Chashu it is. Running up against some interesting examples today. <laughs> Roosters sing like Elvis. <laughs> Is there, okay, I've got five options there. Is there another that I want to consider? Yeah, sure. All right. Oh, wait, yeah, and I already answered it down on the English side. Mm. Wind and chicken have been entered. Yes. Okay, do we have things to look at? Um, I'm thinking of having uh, these be finalists. Sorry, um, why does that take so long? Do you think these are, are okay to be finalists? Roman is very vocal today. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I feel about the last one. Mainly because that line just disappears and it's everywhere else. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Give me, give me to these. Okay. If if you made it like I don't have any other paper, like that left line actually connect with the horizontal one coming across, so you have that miniature four with the little flag down the side, and you can't tell me you didn't get that perfect description. <laughs> Because it was totally clear to me. And a 
Apparently there's a whole movie about a rooster Elvis. Oh yeah. Rock a doodle. Okay. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Bicycle man glyph. I think you're right. I think it's just going to be the first four. I think it's going to be the okay. first four. Except I may do another one right here. With this one down a skosh. No. No. No, that's no. Okay, those four. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be the poll right there. All right. Good. Okay. Because I would be happy with any of those that win. Okay. Cool. And that's what it's really all about. It is. Making Jesse happy. MJH. <laughs> Very important. All right. All right. So yeah, next week I I promise we're gonna get to the the glyph that's the elephant in the room. The one that's going to take us through all of the rest of the glyphs. We are going to deal with this shape, which is like every single other glyph uses that shape in some form. And that should carry us through to the end. Um, we'll do that. The numbers, the numbers will be really, really quick. They're all just basic strokes. Um, and so they just need to be filled out. That'll be nice and simple. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, give some thoughts to what type of punctuation we, we ought to have, both you know what types there should be and maybe what their forms should be, thinking a simple dot. Um, and we should be able to finish out the first version of the font next week. Because also, just like thinking ahead, we had said that October would start our new language, yep. and I suddenly realized that next Thursday is the last Thursday of September. That's right. <laughs> because September is a much shorter month than it should be. Um, and Evan, I noted like your idea. Flat. It's in the list. That will now be part of our September 24th to-do list. <laughs> okay. Woo, I think we're good. All right. Cool. So, everyone, stay grammar. Woo! I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And uh, I have to do the... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not doing anything until I hear somebody say stay grammar or something or acknowledge... Uh, yeah, the font is... Well, no, actually, no. The font is even close to the last thing we need to do for the language, but it's the last thing we're going to do. <laughs> this language is we now, like... We have so many things to attend to, now. but, like, it's... So many. Oh, here's... So many. Here's a stay grammar. All right. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. <laughs>